Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm back with another judge it video. This hairbrush can tell a lot of stories, but we don't know what they are yet. I know my story. It's not a good one, but it's good enough. This is Baron's hairbrush right here. You know, Baron that has no hair, he claims this is his hairbrush. Faith also claims it's her hairbrush. Hope you enjoy this video about the true story of this hairbrush and what happened. Let's get into it. So if you didn't watch the video before, this is how it works. It's a series is what I'm doing here. It's called Judge It and where we judge about these mysterious cases. In this case, Baron's missing hairbrush and supposedly Faith's is missing hairbrush. This is gonna work like this. I'm gonna sit in this chair and I will judge every one of their stories and we will get to the bottom of this case. And guys, whenever it is my turn to tell my story, um, Baron will ask me some questions and see if he thinks I stole his hairbrush. Baron made this statement first, so it's Baron's right now. Let's get into it. All right, guys, Baron's going to come on up now. Come on up, Baron. I'm coming. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. All right, this case is about my missing hairbrush. Do you think hates that guy had rice? Are you team daddy or team hates? I'm team daddy and I don't know what team you are, but you better be team daddy. All right, Baron, that's enough. I don't think it is. All right, anyway, Baron, tell us your story about your missing hairbrush. All right, here I go. Are you ready for this? This is what happened. I was brushing my beautiful hair in the mirror and I said, Heck, look, kind. And then I kept brushing, and then all of the sudden, I was like, Hi, I wonder how everybody else can see my hair. So then I was like, I'm going to go outside. And then I went outside, and everybody could see me brush my amazing hair. And I was like, And then I was like, Hi, hi, hi. I better get over they so they could see me better, you know the neighbors and stuff and I was like hi and then I went on over a day hi hi ooh la la hi and then out of the sudden I heard somebody open the door and I was like hi out of the sudden Faith comes out and says hey Baron have you seen my hairbrush lately huh and I'm like no you haven't seen your hairbrush lately hi 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 and then she was like what is that hair over there then Marin? hand it over now and then i was like excuse me must say that is my hair brush hi 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 Man, did you ever think you sounded like a frenchman saying like hi 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 before no that is the good observation my head at state is now right hi 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 Baron. That is not a state, dude. That is a country. Anyway, back to my study. Hi. Who said she could be the judge? Hi. She just did it, dude. Hi. Anyway, and then she was like, Baron, hand it over now or else. And then I was like, is that a threat, Miss I? Hi, hi, hi. And then she was like, no, it's not, Baron. It's a compliment. <coughs> By the way, what hair are you even brushing? <laughs> and then I was like, that is mine. Hi, hi, hi. That is the worst compliment I've ever heard in my life. <coughs> and then that's the end of my study. Because I did run in the house at the night and run away with my head ice to show she could attack me. Hi, hi, hi. That sounds like an eventful moment right there. It sure was. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, I need to ask Faith about her story now. All right. Here I go. Yep, go sit down. Hi, guys. Team Batting. Hi. All right, guys. This is my newest puppet, Faith, by the way. Hi, guys. It's great to see you on a day. Yay. All right. Anyway, what is your side of the story about this hairbrush? Hey, let me have a hairbrush. Give me that. No. It might be Baron's hairbrush. You never know. He doesn't even have hair to brush. 
We know that, but I don't know if Baron knows that. Does he have a wig? Anyway, does he have a wig, Dan? Anyway, tell us your side of the story about this hairbrush. Give me that! Stop! Tell us your side of the story. Time. Here it is. All right, so here I was getting to brush my amazing hair. And then I heard Baron all of a sudden in the next room to my room, and he was like, Hey, good luck, guy. And I was like, I wonder what that is. But when I went to go over to Bear's room, I was like, I wonder what he's whistling that. I know we don't have a tongue. Whenever could he be whistling that? Hmm. So then I threw my hairbrush, and I was like, I'm going to go see what this is. So I went on over to Baron's room. I shut the door when I came in. And then I was like, Bearman, we have no dogs. What on earth are you doing? Hmm. And then Baron was like, hi, why are you in my room? I'm just brushing my hi, 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 hi. And then he just kept on brushing me. Well, if you're going to watch me, I'm going to go outside to make a man comfortable. Hi. And he went outside. But then I said, hold it right there, mister. I think that is my hairbrush. Hmm. And then Baron was like, Lolly. And he's like, Hi. I fought like cats and dogs, huh? Yeah, we sure did. We know you had a dog or a cat. That sounds like quite the fight. It sure was like you're hearing a one, two, one, a three, four, and then a five, six, and then a seven, and then an eight, nine. Hey, stop. All right, go sit over there. Fine. But it's true. What was the color of your hairbrush? Blue, like earrings. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. Why do you think we were making this video if it wasn't true? Mm -hmm. Go sit over there. All right, guys, James is up next. Come on up here, James. Here I am. Hi, guys. How are you? You know why I called you up here? Something about a dog? Oh, I you think that I heard she took a little out in dogs. Really? Um, do you know what kind of dog it is then? This is not going to eat dogs, Arnie. No, put your shoe back on, my mercy. Yuck. When is the last time you cleaned this thing? When did I hear clean it? What made you think something silly like that? All right, put your shoe back on. Hey, it's not gone, Arnie. All right, thank you. All right, what is your story about the hairbrush? Is there a hairbrush? Yes, we're about trying to find something about a blue hairbrush that is either Baron's or Pike's. But this video can be called Baron's Missing Hairbrush because he made the claim first that his hairbrush was missing and that hairbrush is his. Okay, here's my story. Does it have anything to do with a hairbrush? Not dogs or food, because I know you're obsessed with food. Yeah, I have just hitting a little on lately. Okay, stop. Tell us your side of the story about the blue hairbrush. All right, here I go. On the day of Baron's missing hairbrush, she was eating my apple, and I said, Yummy, nutritious, yay. And then I was eating my apple and watching TV with, with my dog, and I was like, Whoa, hi, dog. <laughs> I kept eating my apple and I was like, Yee! What is with all these dog jokes? What do you mean, honey? I didn't know we even had a dog. I didn't know either. Go sit in your place so I can tell my story. Fine. Jane, I got your apple too. Fine. <laughs> I kept eating my apple and then I heard yelling and I was like, huh? And then I like, dropped my apple and I was like, oh no. But of course, I went for the argument here and missed it to the apple. And I was like, bye, apple. And you know how much I like food. But I walked over and listened to the conversation slash argument. <laughs> and then I heard, no, it's my hairbrush. No, it's my hairbrush. Baron handed over. And I was like, I better not get into that argument. And then I started laying back on with this dog. And I was like, bye, apple. Because it was too lazy to get up again. And I was like, eh. And I can blame with the dog, and that's all I have. Yeah. You need to on my hair, Really? Yep. Yeah.
you know the best time it is to eat, honey? When is the best time to eat? Any time. Do you know when the best time is to eat? This is about a hairbrush. Do you know when the best time is to eat, honey? Um, Friday. No, every day. Do you know when it says an hour to eat? Um, six o'clock. No, every hour. Yay. Do you know when the second is? All right, stop. I, I get to hunt you like your food, and you can eat any time. I mean, sure can. Why don't you go ahead and go over there? I think I've heard enough of this story. Okay. Yay. He's at action. All right. Then let's act. E -e -e. Okay. <coughs> what in the world? He said action. What are you doing? Then let's act. That is horrible acting. Okay. Don't care. Can you put this in place to embarrass him? Do -do 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 -do. What did he say? I don't know, but I think he said my pleasure. Okay. Anyway, here is my side of the story. This is what happened. E e e. So I was playing him to do a game specifically Mario Kart, and then I got third place, and I was like, "Fuck this game!" And then I was like, "Ah!" And then I heard screaming next door, and I was like, "Oh no!" And it sounded like Benin was losing the argument, and I was like, "Oh no!" I was like, "Team Benin's going to lose." At oh, and that is a lot. I'll do my story. Okay, your burp was more exciting than that. Excuse me. Anyway, why don't you go ahead and go sit over there? I bet you're not good at not your cut. You're not even good at hiding seek, neither. If you do a judge it or how did you are hide and seek? I heard I saw you would be me tackling you. In a hide and seek video, you know, you remember that? The camera hasn't got that on camera. E e e. Alright, guys, I think the coast is clear. I remember that. Go sit down. Uh, I did I couldn't eat your naughty or cut too. Go over there. Uh, so rude. Uh, right, John's up next. Come on up, John. What's up, dudes? Welcome back. It's good to see you all today. Alright, so tell us your side of the story. Uh, so, uh, I don't really have much of the story, dude. Apparently, I slept through most of this. But, uh, I was at the heart. We're near and we're not outside. I know that. E -e -e. Let me tell you that part, okay? Alright, tell us that part. Alright, here we go. So right after Faith walked out the door, I was like, Hey guys, how are you? And dude, they were like, Get the wife from my eye. And Faith said the same. Except not the eye part. But anyway, I was like, Only time I try to be friendly, and it backfires. Ugh. And then I went on back inside because I got my feelings hurt. And that is some kind of story right there. Sure is, dude. E e e. You gonna sit over there? You're in. No. All right, guys. Parents, ask me some questions real quick. So come on up, Baron. Not I. Did I? I am. Did you or did you not know about how this hair rush incident before I told you already? No, I didn't. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I was asleep. Really? Yep, I was sound asleep. Could care less about this, but I know y'all would be fighting like cats and dogs, or mostly dogs in this case, because how many dogs jokes we've done in this video. But anyway, I was asleep during that time, so no Baron. Hi, get away from my hi, Baron. Hi. She is no help. Hi. All right, guys. Since everybody's story is totally different, or kind of the same, or something about dogs. I came up with this solution. I investigated the house, and I found two hairbrushes, one in Fate's room and one in Baron's. And one was this one I'm about to show you. The other one was this one, guys. This is Baron's hairbrush, indeed. This was on his table. This was in Baron's bathroom in the mirror. I was like, but Baron was telling the truth this time. So that does it for this video, apparently. And hers was just blue. Remember how in her story she said she dropped her hairbrush and went over there? And she comes out with her hairbrush. I got suspicious from there because 
How could she climb that? How could her hairbrush teleport like that? Well, apparently this guy's just close. All right, guys, me and Baron are going to close out the vlog. Nice job, Baron, by telling the truth. Remember, honesty is the best policy. It's dead ease. It can even say you're a head rush. All right, anyway, I'm going to read you all Colossians 3, 13. Bearing with one another and forgiving each other, whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. Thank you all for watching today's video. And remember, God loves you. And we do too. See you in the next video. Bye. Oh, la, la.